Hey guys, welcome back. Hey guys, welcome back and hello if you are new. My name is Sarah and welcome to my 2023 what I got my kids for Easter video or what's in my kids Easter baskets. If you have never seen me before, I make a ton of gift guides throughout the year. I will have a card linked above for you to check out if you're interested in Easter's past or if you are looking for other different gift guides. I have birthday gift guides, Valentine's Day, Christmas, both stocking and the big grand, you know, gift. <laughs> um, Easter, like I said, I also have other gift guides in there. So if you're looking for something, I hopefully have a good age range now because I started when my youngest was a baby and now she's six. So we have six years full of gift guides um, and I have so much fun making them and filming them and I put a lot of work into them. So if you're looking for some good gift guides, I definitely recommend checking out the playlist above. And um, like I said, if you are new here, my name is Sarah and I have two daughters. My oldest is Olive and she is eight and my youngest is Eleanor and she just turned six. Now, let me just really quickly preface the fact that some people can get really upset when it comes to an Easter in particular, but it happens with all holidays, but specifically Easter um, gifts. I think a lot of people can get really upset with it because of the holiday that it is. And sometimes it can be offensive to others. Um, this is honestly just what I choose to do for my children, my husband and I. You in no way do not have to do these things. It is your prerogative to celebrate Easter in the way that you would like to and gift your family and you know who with the things that you would like to. Um, we celebrate by this and amongst other things. Um, but you know, it's each their own. These are just ideas and I would appreciate if you kept it respectful on my channel because sometimes you guys can get kind of nasty and send some not so nice things and you know, it's, it's no big thing. No need to get upset, you know? It's just it's just little Easter baskets, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, but I will try to have everything linked down for you below. I know that this year it's a little close to the deadline. Um, life has been flying by. There's a lot of big and exciting things that I can't wait to share with you. Um, but I have been focused on those things and all of a sudden I realized that it was Easter and I hadn't shopped for the baskets or anything yet. So um, I spent like a good full day thinking of ideas and shopping and I was able to get it all done and in, in time to film this video. So I will say that although this is close to the deadline this year, um, that most of these items are easily accessible at your local Walmart or Target in store or through, you know, fast shipping as well as a lot of stuff is on Amazon, which you know you can typically get um, quickly as well. So hopefully you guys can get some of these items if you're really hoping for them in enough time. But um, maybe in future Easter's you're coming back to this video and you have plenty of time. I have been running around like crazy. It has been a week, friends. It has been a week and tomorrow is thankfully Friday and I'm so ready for the weekend. My hair is all in a tizzy. I'm sure that my makeup's not matching my neck because I didn't bring it all the way down. We're just rolling with it, okay? We're just rolling with it. We are going, hurry. <laughs> we are going to start with my husband because we all exchange or all have Easter baskets. The Easter Bunny likes to come to all of us. Um, and I take care of my husband and my girls and he, you know, fills my basket with goodies. These are our baskets. We've had the same baskets for years now, um, but you guys typically ask, and I think it's mostly about size to see what the size range we do. Um, if things don't fit, it doesn't stress me. Like I just put it around. I mean, I know some people are like, I want everything in the basket. And some people have asked me like, what, how large are the baskets because of the stuff that I do. But if it doesn't fit, it doesn't stress me out. But these are the girls. Um, I think this one's Eleanor's and this one's Olive's. Honestly, I can't remember now, but I think that's what it is. I got these from Walmart years ago um, and we just reuse them every single year. This one's mine and this one is my husband's. His we had since we first started dating and I it's it's time like it's it's too small at this point He needs a bigger one. Uh, I prefer like even like the wicker baskets anyway um, And so those are our baskets so for my husband's this year typically for Easter. I give him a lot of practical things um, Because that's what he likes but I also do a couple of fun items um, and there are a couple of things that haven't arrived here yet like um, I always get him face wash hair product 
Um, I typically will do a, a, like a spring or summer cologne. There's something else that I can't think of what it is. Something else, can't think of it. Um, but those are, are coming, they haven't arrived yet. And then um, are the more fun things. So this is a practical item though, but uh, we, he has been talking about getting lint rollers and he continues to forget and it drives him insane and we haven't had lint rollers for so long. Um, so I just am getting him a pack of lint rollers. It's, it's, you know, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's such a good, to me, it's like the best item for an Easter basket um, or like stocking, they're useful. Anyway, I also got him two of these t-shirts. These are from um, Walmart from No Boundaries. These are my favorite t-shirts that he owns. These are elongated like tees. I love the way that these look on him. I think that they are like the most attractive shirt he has, like chef's kiss. The collars are these like really soft, gentle crew necks, but it's like, they're just, I don't know. There's something about these shirts. I would have him wear these shirts every single day if I could. I'm slightly worried because these were on clearance that they're getting discontinued. And I kind of just want to buy like a bunch to have on hand because I love them so much on him. Um, he already has a couple, but I got him a plain white one and this pretty charcoal colored one, charcoal gray color. I love them. They are my favorite. I think they're so attractive <laughs> on him. Anyway, I got him that. So he started drinking coffee. Um, just like a couple years ago, he used to hate coffee. He was really into energy drinks and we, we finally broke the habit. It took years, but we finally broke the habit because he was drinking like the really bad energy drinks. Like they were, not to say that any energy, energy drink is particularly healthy, but like he was drinking the worst of the worst. He was obsessed with NOS, which has like so much sugar. It is not a good one for you. But um, he finally broke it a couple years ago. And, but he, got addicted to coffee. It is what it is, okay? Anyway, um, and so he's a big coffee drinker now and has coffee in the morning and loves to also take a coffee um, to go with him to work. And so I got him this really pretty coffee tumbler. Um, I love this ombre. It's even more like, it's coming off a bit more bluey in person. It's even more subtle in person. Like, I just wish you could see how pretty this is. Um, this is from Simple Modern. I buy and go through a lot of cups. I've shared a lot of different ones on our, my channel. We love Bottle Bottle. We've used them before. We've partnered with them before. Um, but they don't have a, at least from what I could tell, because I went to go look on the website to go buy one from them. I don't think they have like a size like this of a like um, flip top lid. I think all of theirs have spouts and with it being hot coffee, I didn't want him to burn himself. Um, but so I went online and did a bit more digging and got from Simple uh, Modern, which I really like this brand. This is I think my second favorite brand. Um, and I just thought this cup was just so freaking pretty um, and perfect for him. So this is his his new little coffee tumbler to take with him to work. I think it's the perfect size. Anyway, I'm so excited. I think it looks so freaking pretty. Um, and then this is kind of like a random item, but um, I saw this on Amazon when I was shopping for, uh, you know, fun ideas. And this was a lightning deal. And I've been thinking about getting him one of these for a while now because he loves massages, but I'm not a big fan of massages and he he always wants to like book couples massages and stuff, but I it's it's like not worth the money for me because I don't I don't like massages. Um and I'm also really bad at giving them because I think that I'm gonna hurt somebody and so I'm like not going deep enough and he likes deep tissue massages. I'm just not, I'm not the woman for the job, okay? Um, and so I saw this for a lightning deal on Amazon and it was a massage gun. It looks like a gosh darn either hair dryer or like a power drill. Um, this thing is like normally like close to $100 or something like that. I don't honestly know. I mean, massage guns can be like crazy expensive. I don't think this is like one of the more expensive ones you can buy, but it's still like not, you know, like the cheapest thing on the market. Um, and it feels like really nice quality, but it was on a lightning deal for $29.99, $24.99, something like that. This thing had like 26,000 reviews, I think, and like almost completely five stars. Um, so I bought that real quick. I was so excited. And um, I don't know if it's still on a deal or maybe I have no idea, but I will have it linked below, but I'm so excited. He's gonna open this up and be like, what the heck is this? Um, but he has such bad like stress knots, like they're huge because he carries so much tension up in his like upper um, shoulder area and by his neck. And I just can't wait to like, you know, 
go to town on them and i'm also like a lot of people in the comments had said that they carry uh, or like they like it for hand massages and for their palms and i have a lot of tension in my hands and i love that's like the one massage that i would pay like and for like an hour and be like 300 dollars, maybe not that much money but pay a lot to have my hand massaged i love hand massages um and so but they said that it feels so good for hand massages so i i plan on you know taking this for a whirl anyway um kind of a random thing kind of an exciting thing though so we'll see we'll see how it goes but had good reviews not something I would have thought of otherwise. Anyway, hopefully these are good ideas for you. Um, obviously, if you you know share with your spouse and do fun things like that, or if you um, have adult kids that you you know fill their baskets with, hopefully these were some good ideas. Okay, so let's move on to the kids, the fun things while we're all here. We're gonna move on to the kids. We're gonna start with Eleanor. Like I said, she is six. She is my youngest. Um, I did a couple of food items for them this year. I will be getting more um, this week. I will also be getting some for my husband. But if you watched my what I got my husband for um, Christmas, I he's a really big gamer. And um, I got him, I made him like a personalized gaming snack jar and so I think I'm just gonna fill that one back up he's he's loved that thing um, and I'm just gonna refill it all the way up with fun snacks and treats and candy and just put it with his basket but the girls um, I will probably get some for their Easter basket and some for the Easter egg hunt but my mom also fills up baskets for them at her house and so I think that I'll probably get more fun things for the Easter egg hunt than just candy because they're already gonna get plenty we don't need that much anyway uh, but the main thing that I know that they're gonna freak out over are these Lent Lindor truffles this is their favorite candy of all time they love these truffles they're stupid expensive um, at least for kids candy I mean they're like eight bucks I think this thing was like $7.99 um, which you know it's not crazy expensive but you know it, they, they got an expensive taste anyway um, but they come out with limited edition flavors and this one was their spring one um, and it's blueberries and cream oh my gosh this one and the other flavor I'm gonna share with you guys are the best I've ever had in my life they are so good I highly recommend you try these um, but I don't know if I'm gonna use these for Easter egg hunts because I feel like they'd be perfect for an egg or sprinkle them in their basket or just keep them in a full bag haven't decided yet but um, she will have a bag of those I also picked up this Easter grass bubble gum fun cute Easter -y. it'll stay in the bag though I know some people use edible grass for their baskets I won't be doing that uh, we just reuse the same Easter grass year after year. And then um, I got them each a Ramune soda. I don't know if you guys have ever had these before. I freaking love everything that's like Asian snacks and like all fun, different, like unique, um, like interactive snacks. That sounds really weird. I don't know, like character snacks, Asian, like fun snacks, like big snack boxes you can find and try. Like it's my favorite thing um and so the girls have never had one of these before but basically there's like a marble up here that you pop in and it goes down and it causes a bunch of carbonation in the bottle it's just fun and interactive um they're like really sweet but they're perfect for my kids not for me anymore um but they have a bunch of different flavors but this is hello kitty which they both love so i got them each one of these to try i just thought it would be kind of fun um and then i also got again <laughs> Hello Kitty, um, a pack of these roasted seasoned seaweeds. We love seaweed in this house. Well, everyone but my husband, but the girls and I love it. Um, and so I think I'll give two to Olive because she could eat her weight in seaweed and then one to Eleanor. Um, but we have seaweed all the time, um, but not Hello Kitty seaweed. So I got them each a pack of that. And then, um, yeah, I think that's it for snacks at the moment. So jumping into her like fun stuff, each year I always get the girls um, some sort of shoes. I typically get them like a water safe shoe like jellies or um, like fun water shoes. Or And then I get like a more like dressier sandal or like cute sandals. We still have plenty from last year that they can fit. So I don't know if I'm going to add those that may come later. But I did get Eleanor a pair of sneakers. She did grow out of her sneakers. And I just thought these were so cute. I got them from Fab Kids, um, which... Uh, I just recently subscribed to I used to do the just fab fabletics fab 
the other one that's the adult one um, all the time in college and I loved it um, and I've been getting emails for the kids one for years and I always go in to add things to my cart and I never you know commit but they were offering where you just like pay for shipping and you get any shoe and I was like heck yes so I didn't know what the quality would be like but these are actually really nice um, they're really nice and cushy. They're so cute and I think that she is going to love them So I got her a pair of these um, and to go along with it because she has um, Gotten tying her shoelaces down pretty well. She's pretty good at it the only thing is is that she doesn't tie them very tight so they come loose often and I'm just so paranoid. Both my girls are really bad at retying their shoes specifically all of she just doesn't do it because she hates to do it but um Eleanor just like has to constantly do and she gets frustrated and so um, I'm paranoid that someone's gonna like step on their shoes or they're gonna trip on them and they're gonna like face plant so um, I got her a pack of these which she's gonna open these and be like what the heck are they but they are like little um, you put these in like your little shoe lace holes and they're just like shoelaces so she doesn't have to have like loose laces and have to constantly tie them and they're rainbow and I just thought they were really cute and really helpful so I got her there those and I also got a really cute pack of little um I don't know if you're going to see these little like charms that you can put on your shoelaces um and I don't know if these are going to go for Oliver Eleanor if I'm going to split them up and they just use both they typically like share all of their accessories um anyway but i think this may end up going in an easter egg for the easter egg hunt and then they can accessorize their shoelaces if they can accessorize something they will moving on to like hair items i would say that hair clips are the best easter thing ever i feel like they are perfect for easter egg hunts um, because they're practical, they're useful, they're cute, they're fun, they're not junky, like you're gonna get use out of them, they're not candy, like perfect thing. And they're small and they can fit in Easter eggs. Um, and I feel like they're perfect for so many ages now because hair clips are back from like, for kids to adults. So, um, bunch of hair clips. These ones are from Walmart from Wonder Nation. I love the Wonder Nation hair clips. This was like $2.37. And they're so cute. They're always on trend and they're nice clips. So I definitely recommend checking Walmart for hair clips. I think they have the best ones. Um, but these are like little smiley faces. Are they not the cutest thing ever? I love these. She loves smiley faces. So I think these are so cute. I think I'm going to put these in Easter eggs for the Easter egg hunt. And then both of these are going to go in her basket. Um, another pack of Wonder Nation ones. Uh, just like this really pretty iridescent-y um, pink and like checkered little hair clip and then the smiley face hair clip they're both just getting into claw clips now but eleanor still has like shorter hair so i feel like this would be really cute for like half up half down kind of looks um and then i got, also got her this claw clip which is really similar with that checkered pattern and then it comes with two butterfly clips this was like $3.99 justice from walmart and this again was like $2.37 um but walmart place to get hair clips i'm telling you and target has really good hair clips too but they're a bit more expensive so those are her hair items and then i got um her this lip smackers um coca-cola lip balm my girls just tried soda for the first time really this year they are they don't they have it on special occasions they don't get it very often but eleanor got tried coke and dr pepper and loves it ollie is like very much the sprite gal like she does not like any she is sprite all the way she doesn't like all the other fancy beverages uh, but eleanor likes coke and dr pepper again she has it on very special occasions but i think that this will make her really excited so i thought this would be cute um and they have a bunch of different uh like soda themed lip smackers um but i thought this was fun so i got that for her and i there's a couple things that haven't arrived yet that i will make sure that i include uh, pictures from but i wanted to get this up before easter actually happened and so it would be helpful um but one of those things is this really cute little um like makeup case essentially and it's like fuzzy and furry uh tie-dye and i think i'm going to put all of the hair clips and stuff in there in her basket um but we are running out of storage for our hair clips which probably means i shouldn't be buying any more but we use them every single day and we love them and so um i just thought it'd be a cute way to add some more storage um but it's also just fun for her so i'm going to put that in her basket and then for body care eleanor is my glitzy glammy like full 
base of like fun glitter makeup and like loves to do her hair and get full outfits on and fully accessorize everything she loves it and so um, I got her a couple of body care items I got her this Justice Sweet Dreamer Cotton Candy Shea Body Butter. I got this from Walmart. I know you guys cannot tell the size, but this thing is massive. Um, you can't tell the size on camera. Like it's not doing it justice. This thing is huge. I think this was like seven bucks or something. And this is the like quintessential, like limited to like Lizzie McGuire smell to me. It is so sweet and just like young girl um but i think that she is going to love this they love their lotion and like they cannot put their pajamas on after a shower without lotion um we've been doing that since they were babies and it's like they feel like something is missing and it's like their pajamas feel weird on their bodies so um she loves her lotion so i thought this would be fun to try out and this is just like i would have loved this at her age like this just feels like cool girl like my mom went to limited two and got my lotion i don't know that sounds so silly but i feel like if you know you know so let me know if you guys had that experience or like you wanted like the cool like girl like self-care products and stuff when you were little um i don't know it just makes you feel cool you know it's like it feels adultish but it's like meant for your age so you just feel cool i don't know if i can see if i stop saying cool um i also got the matching sweet dreamer body wash frappe the girls will use both of these for i mean they will both get use out of them but i think i'm gonna put them both in eleanor's bag or i may put one in one and one in the other or basket um but this is cleansing foam and moisturizing layer it's just like a body wash that's foam so again this was like seven bucks it's it is massive like it's huge um and then i also got eleanor a body spray again she loves the perfume she loves the glitz um but her body spray right now is making me want to puke um it is like pure sugar gourmand and it's just way too strong and gives me a really bad headache so i picked this one up it is uh, Ari ariana grande's thank you next i think it's like seven bucks at walmart it smells really good it's sweet and girly but it has like it doesn't smell like the artificialness that i'm talking about with this <laughs> um so i can i can deal with it if she like goes crazy um hopefully she we can work on just like one spray but she goes ham with it. So anyway, thought these would be cute and they all kind of match. Moving on, the girls both have iPads. That's the only like technology item they really have. Um, they're getting older though. You know, they use it, they love it. It's their thing, whatever. They don't have phones or anything and we keep their iPads with us at night. We charge them um, and everything, but they will not stop borrowing my chargers throughout the day. It's driving me crazy and then I'm missing them. They've broken some, God bless their little hearts. I know they're just getting used to that sort of stuff, but I, I'm, I'm cutting the cord, figuratively and literally sort of. So I got them both each an um, iPad charger, but to have um, them know exactly whose is whose and to, again, make it more fun, I bought little accessories to <laughs> make them exciting. And so I got this really pretty um, like cord that you wrap around the cord so that um, it protects it and doesn't help it like fray and break apart. And then I got this really cute little little dinosaur that goes at the end of the plug, um, and so it protects the like actual little plug, the little lightning cable dude. So um, I got her a little pink dinosaur, and then this purpley iridescent uh, cord, and then um, of course her little thing. Uh, I actually think that they're going to be really pumped about that, which is so silly, but I think they're going to be really excited about iPad chargers. Um, and then. For the fun stuff, I got her this Happy Salmon uh, game. We have been so into games here. Like we are going game crazy. We got Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza. That is one of the most fun games I have played in so long. I highly recommend it. Um, this is by Exploding Kittens, which is another fun game. I can't, I don't know if this is from Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza too, the same brand. But um, anyway, also to say, this one had really good reviews too. I think it's kind of similar to Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza, um, and we've all been loving it. So it's three to eight players. It's a fun party game, and it's ages six plus. So I thought it would be kind of fun, and it's just it's just so cute, and it fits perfectly in an Easter basket. So I got that off of Amazon. And then 
I also picked up this purse pet. These were just like a couple bucks. They were on sale at Target for like $2.99 or something recently. Um, but they're little keychains and they have a couple purse pets and I really love them. Um, and so you get, it's like a surprise box kind of thing, purse pet. And it, look, it looks shaped like a little purse. I think that's so cute. But they have like a little mirror on the inside. Um, and so I just thought it was kind of fun. So it's a little charm. It's cute, perfect for a Easter basket as well. And then I got this big old keychain. He, it, it's a little cinnamon roll keychain. If you know cinnamon roll from um, the Sanrio character line Hello Kitty franchise, um, he's probably a knockoff cinnamon roll, but he looks like cinnamon roll. And that's all they're gonna care about. Eleanor's really into keychains right now, and I thought this is just a perfect. Uh, Thing to gift her again I thought this this is my plan to put in Easter eggs for Easter egg hunts and he ain't gonna fit so he's gonna go in her basket instead but he's big and plushy and so cute so I got um, him for her I also got a strawberry plush keychain um, but it hasn't come in yet and that I think is also probably gonna be too big but both of those are supposed to go in Easter egg hunts um, I got three mini brands balls she still loves these things. Both of the girls still really are into the mini brand stuff. They use them all the time with their Barbies and Rainbow Highs and Monster Highs. And so um, I got her three different ones. I got her the Series 2 mini fashion ones, which has like little purses and sometimes like pets and stuff like that. Um, then I got the Series 3 toy mini brands and then the newer Series 2 Disney ones. So um, she will have fun. I think these are such good things for Easter because they look like Easter eggs and they're kind of fun also if you want to go all out for Easter egg hunts, but um, I think they're perfect for Easter baskets. Okay, for Eleanor, I also always get, every single year, I always get my girls swimsuits, but they have not come in yet. I got Eleanor two swimsuits. Um, I have this really, really cute, like neon green um, little two piece. It is so adorable and I think will look so pretty against her tan skin tone. Um, I just think it's gonna pop so well. So, and I, she's like very into neons right now, specifically that color. So I thought it would be really cute on her. And then I also got this really, really cute little set. It's a three piece set. One is like a one shoulder um, little like uh, bikini top and then um, like little bottoms and then it comes with this little skirt that ties around and it's like pink marbly um, print and they just both of these like scream Eleanor. I think they're going to be so so cute on her so I got her both of those and then I also got her a cover up um, and I will have that here too as well and it's just like um, fun rainbow cover up I think would just be really cute on her and I think it'll be really cute with the green swimsuit um, and yeah so I got those are her swimsuits um, and that is it for Eleanor so let's move on to Ollie so for Ollie she's getting the same treats the um, Easter grass and the Ramyun uh, soda and then those two um, seaweeds and then she is also getting the lint truffles, but she is getting the Neapolitan flavor. But I think that I'm going, I opened them because I wanted to smell them. <sighs> okay, anyway, I have a problem. Um, she's getting the Neapolitan flavor, but I think I'm gonna switch them. I think that Eleanor would like these more um, and Ollie would like the blueberry ones. So I'm gonna switch them around, but I think these are the best ones to be honest with you. But um, Ollie's not as big of a fan of like chocolate. She loves, I think these are better for Eleanor, but um, these are so good, so good. They taste literally just like Neapolitan ice cream. Um, highly recommend, love them. I, I want these. So I've been trying to hint at my mom who also gives us little baskets and my husband. So for Olive, I also got her a pack of those shoelace things. I know these aren't as exciting, but Ollie has these white sneakers that she is obsessed with and hates to wear any other shoes besides them. Um, and so I got her a pack of these because they would match. But I also did get her these, which I thought were really, really cute. And they are like little flower um, shoelaces and they're pastel. And I just thought these look so much like her. And I think would be really cute with these little flowers. So I couldn't resist, so I got her both of these. And she's not getting any shoes as of right now because she has plenty, but we will see. I may I may end up getting her a couple sandals um, before Easter. We'll figure it out. 
I also got her that um, phone or the charger, but I got her an iridescent pink cover. And then her little guy is this little cute cloud. He's so cute. He's a cute little smiley face. And he's a cute little cloud. So um, that is her little set. I think they're just going to love this. I'm so excited for this in particular. Um, I think they're so cute. For her hair stuff, I got two packs for her. These are just gonna go directly, I think, in her basket, but she's been really into trying to learn to do her own hair and like be able to put her hair up in ponytails and stuff like that lately. She's becoming more and more independent and I know it's so important and I'm trying really hard to just let it happen, but it's really hard on my mama heart because I'm like, please, let me just still do your hair. Um, cause I just love that time with her. It's hard anyway, but I got her a pack of scrunchies because I think that she's going to like them a lot. They're pretty. Um, and they'll be fun for her to try to continue to learn to do her own hair. And then I got her a pack of these clips. She has a lot longer hair than Eleanor. Um, and I just think they're really pretty. I love this like rainbow one. Um, and this pretty pastel kind of like matte, soft matte, um, to the touch blue color. So both of these were from the justice line, but they were from Walmart. Okay, next I got her this pack of t-shirts. She is obsessed with Pokemon right now. And I found this two pack from Walmart and I just thought it was too cute to resist. It's Pikachu and it's like a little baby tee and I just think it's so cute. And then um, the squad on this little tie dye one which will be super cute with biker shorts. I think she's gonna love these. Um, I just couldn't resist. It was way too cute. So I got her that. I also got her um, a cat tee. If you guys know, she's still very obsessed with cats, and I got her a, a mesh um, looking like cat tee. I'll have a picture of it, and um, it's still is waiting for it to come in the mail. It's actually meant for, I think, like teens. It's like a small, like belly tee thing. Like, it's not it's not what she would be wearing it as i think it's going to be kind of big on her um but i think it was just too cute i saw it and i was like okay she needs this because i think she'll love it so i think it'll fit her like a normal t-shirt but in the picture please know that that's not my intention of how it's supposed to look on her um anyway i think she's going to freak out I, I it's so cute um i'm excited to give that one to her but that's still on the way and then um she has been learning to tell time this year she's in second grade and she's been learning to tell time um both with a digital clock but also an analog clock and so i actually picked her up her own analog watch um she's been really enjoying telling time and so i thought this would just be fun to continue to help her practice but also so she could keep time so i found this really pretty pastel purple totally her color um and it's a nice like silicone band so it's not gonna get all yucky um and then um it is water resistant so this had pretty good reviews on amazon i think it's like a perfect first like official watch she had a couple watches when she was a toddler like toddler watches that are really fun and cute characteries but this is a you know she can actually tell time now so um i think this will be fun and kind of like useful for her but i just got this off of amazon and it came in this cute little dinosaur case so i think i'm just gonna put this as is in her basket because i just think it's really cute and the fun like pastel it looks like spring and easter so that is her little watch i think it was so cute um i also got olive a couple of keychains. There's one or two that still haven't come yet in yet that I will pop up on the screen. Um, but these actually will go in the Easter egg uh, hunt because they are like the perfect size for it. This is what I thought the other one was going to be, but it was not. Um, anyway, I got her this, as you know, love she loves cats. So I got her this really cute little, little cat keychain and he's eating a little sandwich. Can you see that at all? Isn't he so cute? Oh, I just love it. And then there's like another little cake piece right here. So she can use this to clip on or we can use the keychain part. And then I also got her this one, which is similar, um, but it's another little cat, but he's drinking a little iced coffee. Um, I just thought they're so cute. Very, very olive. Um, simple and sweet and um, totally up her alley. So both of those will probably end up in the Easter egg hunt. And then there's another one that or two, I can't remember if I got two more, or just one more. There's at least one more um, that will potentially end up in the Easter egg hunt or at least in her basket. I got her um, also uh, one of the little purse pets. Hopefully they didn't get the same one. 
Hopefully they both have different ones. I think they'll be fun. Anyway, I got her a purse pet. So uh, yet another keychain. Um, I guess keychains were my thing this year. And then for Ollie, she is absolutely obsessed with Pokemon, like I said. Um, and this was something that I originally intended to give her for Valentine's Day, but I ended up keeping it um, because I thought she had enough for Valentine's Day. So I ended up keeping it for now. And I'm really glad I did because it ended up going really well with the other things I got. So it's the Pokemon, Pokemon. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I said that. Pokemon Super Extra Deluxe Essential Handbook and you the need to know stats and facts on over 875 Pokemon and characters. So literally it's all of the Pokemon and all of their facts, all of their powers, every single thing that you could think of, which I am sure she will be so excited about. Um and yeah, so all of the bad guys or the good you know all of the pokemon is what i'm saying so um this was on amazon recommended had really good ratings if you have a pokemon lover in your life um but i think she's really gonna like this and to go along with it i got her a pack of cards <laughs> pokemon cards now let me say that they say that these are 100 percent authentic um, and th this thing had really good reviews so again i don't know if these are genuine and authentic they say they are they had good reviews and everyone said they were but it came in this so I can't I don't feel like I can be super trusting um, but it did come with a pack of 60 cards it was inexpensive and at the end of the day Ollie is not in it for like you know like she wants a genuine the best of the best like she's in it to have fun and collect um, and so I don't think it's gonna bother her too much, but she already has a giant collection that my brother handed down to her that were his and mine actually from us growing up. Um, and so I think this will just help add to the collection, um, but it'll be fun so she can open them up and kind of figure out like new ones. And there's supposed to be a couple of like deluxe and holographic ones in here as well. So I got these on Amazon. And then to go along with that, um, since her, the collection that she has is from my brother, it's pretty large, but it's in an old like Pokemon cardboard box um, that was made to hold a lot of cards, but it's just, I mean, it was from when we were kids, and so it's many, many years old. Um, and I just, she needs something that's a little bit safer, and so she can see all the cards. So I got her a Pokemon um, binder. I had one of these when I was little, and my brother and I had, he had his own, and there's, I don't know, like it's bringing me back a lot of memories. <laughs> They weren't as good as this, like this is fancy, but um, we had one and I, I just remember it like so vividly. And so I hope that these are like good memories that she's creating as well. But I got her this one and it has a Pokeball um, and then all of the, the main crew's little paws. Look at how cute they are, like little Pikachu in your hand. Anyway, um, I just thought this was so cute. And it had a bunch of uh, cards slip slips in there already and I used to love putting cards in the card holders like this was such a fun thing for me so I think this will be really fun for her um, to be able to do and then she can bring it like her school has clubs and they have a Pokemon club and she's been wanting to join it but um, she hasn't done it yet and so I think that this will be fun to like bring to her club and like her friend's house so I don't know I just thought it was too cute so I thought like this is all perfect this like little little Pokemon set for her so that is kind of like her main thing um and then i also got her this as well um this is a little backpack she just started going to her friend's house um who lives literally like less than a block away um and it's her best friend and they you know go to school together and everything um but she's just started going there and like having play dates by herself because she's eight now um and goes and plays at her friend's house and i'm not there you know her parents are there and obviously but it's just like it's the first time that it's not like a play date or a party that i'm like there hanging out and observing and stuff and so um a big day <laughs> but I'm also I thought it'd be nice for her to have like a little backpack or a little purse that she can take with her in case she wants to bring a certain amount of toys or if like there's something she wants to bring with her like tissues or you know sometimes she gets like really really dry lips and she has a bad habit of like you know licking her lips and so it can get like really chapped so like she needs chapstick you know whatever just like girly things um and this is cinnamon roll so 
if you guys know, you know, she still loves her uh, Sanrio character. So I got this on Amazon and I just thought he was really cute. Um, it's just like this little mini backpack and it's sweet. And I just thought it'd be perfect for her when she goes to her um, bestie's house and needs to bring a couple of items. She doesn't have like a cell phone or anything like that that she needs to worry about. But um, just for fun, I guess, you know, I don't know. I think that would be fun. Like if for my, my mom had got, got me something like that when I was little, I'm, I'm sure she did, but specifically to like go to friends' houses and stuff. Like, I just think it's fun. So, um, that I believe is everything for them. Oh, for her swimsuit. So like I already said, um, I got her that little cat shirt, which I thought was so cute. And then these two shirts. And then for her swimsuits, I got her, um, a three piece set as well. It has like a purple little like twist, uh, bikini top and then um, uh, butterfly bottoms and then like a little butterfly like mini skirt sarong thing which I thought was really really cute and then she also has um, this really pretty one piece that's uh, blue and it's like baby blue and it has lace um, details around it and it looks so cute and so um, I think that she likes very simple things, very light colors, nothing too intense, nothing rainbow like her sister. So I think that one will look really, really pretty on her as well. So those are her swimsuits for this year. Um, I think they still have like a couple swimsuits from last year that they can fit, but we swim a lot during the summer. And so I like to have a couple of them on hand because sometimes like they're still wet from the day before and it's like miserable to put on a wet cold swimsuit so um we like to have our options in a variety so that is that all right that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching um if you celebrate easter i hope that you have a wonderful and peaceful and hopefully sunny and warm Easter Sunday that you get to relax and spend some time with your family and make memories. For those of you who don't celebrate Easter, I hope the same thing for you. I hope it's a beautiful day um, that you get to enjoy and relax and spend time with your loved ones and your family. And hopefully it's warm where you are and you have nice sunshine um, and it's just a really great day all around. Thank you guys again for watching. I have more videos coming your way, so keep an eye out for them. I've had so many requests from you guys to start vlogging and the amount of times I have filmed vlogs and then deleted them because I feel like no one's gonna watch them and they're gonna be really really boring I just get really in my head um, but then I have to like take myself back and realize like the vlogs that I enjoy watching the most are vlogs where people are just living their life and there's no glitz and glam it's just like a, a nice vlog about people doing like everyday things and everyday tasks and it just feels like you're watching and living life with them virtually and those are my favorite and so I just have to be like it's okay that's what vlog is rather than try to do like this big show shabam thing that's just not realistic for me um, or what I really want to film so I just gotta get out of my head but I plan on um, having a vlog up really soon because I have very exciting news to share with you guys and I can't wait to share it let me quickly just say this is in no way a pregnancy announcement or anything about babies I feel like I just need to clarify that because I am not pregnant and I know some people run with like news like that and I just like not there so um, as much as that's something that we absolutely want in the future um, we have definitely had many years of infertility lately uh, the past number of years and it's been a struggle so it's kind of a hard pill to swallow when people you're like congratulations pregnancy and it's not happening so I just want to clarify I'm not pregnant um, but there is other big exciting news that I am very excited to share with you. So keep an eye out for that video. Um, and for all of my future content, let me know below what other things that you would like to see from my channel, because I feel like this is the time where it's like gift guides are kind of paused for the season until, um, the, you know, next year kind of starts and the fall time hits. So, um, I would love to know what you guys are interested in seeing. And I have just uploaded a What's for Dinner. So if you're wanting to see those, they have come back. I just uploaded my first one, um, before this video. So go check that one out if you missed it. And I guess that's it. I will see you guys all very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.